Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for June 10th of 2024 is titled SH2-132, the Lion Nebula. So what do we see here? Well, here we see what is known as the Lion Nebula, also named by its catalog designation of SH2-132. Now, what is this? Well, this is an example of a nebula, and nebulae are often energized by high-energy stars. And that, in this case, is two very massive stars, much more massive than our own sun, and much of the material around them, that those stars emit a lot of ultraviolet radiation that then energizes the gas and causes it to glow. So the universe is filled with gas like this. Most of the times we don't see it, and that's because gas tends to be clear. So we can look right through the atmosphere and see things because the atmosphere is not giving off any kind of light, or at least not light, visible light. However, when energized, such as in a neon tube, then light can, uh, sorry, then gases can be seen because they are being energized. And that's something very similar to what is actually happening here. The ultraviolet light ionizes or rips electrons off of atoms around the area. When those then recombine, that will go through and give off specific wavelengths of light associated with the atoms that are composed here. Now, most of what we're seeing is hydrogen gas. Hydrogen gas makes up about 90% of the atoms in the universe. So if we're looking at an atom, most likely it's going to be a hydrogen one. In fact, you got a 9 in 10 chance just picking any atom in the universe at random that it is going to be hydrogen. And those will then give off the specific glows that we see. Now here, this is actually a region of star formation where some of the areas are still forming stars. So there are stars that have already formed that are energizing the nebula, causing it to glow and allowing us to see it. But there are some dark, dense knots where stars are still in the process of formation. So even within a single region, stars do not form all at once. It can, uh, the star formation process can take place over a very long period of time, over many millions of years. So from the time the first stars form until the last stars form can take quite a while. Now, as we note in the description, it will actually say that this uh, the size of this on the sky is about the size of our full moon, actually a little bit bigger than that. So you may wonder, why isn't this visible? Why can't I just go out at night and look up and see this? Well, it is far fainter. It takes a much longer exposure to bring out the fainter detail within this nebula. Some very bright nebulae can be seen with the naked eye. Things like the Orion Nebula in the Sword of Orion can be seen without the aid of a telescope. However, to actually be able to see something like this, you would need a much more powerful telescope and a longer exposure to bring out the detail. Even if you just looked at it through a telescope, you'd see a fuzzy patch in the sky. In order to see the detail that we see here, you need a much longer exposure to bring out all of that faint detail. So that was our picture of the day for June 10th of 2024. It was titled SH2-132, the Lion Nebula. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Star Clouds. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.